Hey guys, I'm Shah Rose here and today I'm going to demonstrate a few unique features of this phone, the Nokia A0 PureView. And as we all know, this smartphone is famous for its camera, it's the king of all camera phones, 41 megapixels, uh, yeah, we all know that, but I hate it when people say that this phone is just a mere camera phone and because they don't know what this phone can do and that's exactly what, why I'm making this video. So this video is dedicated to those people who think that this is just a camera phone. I'm going to show what this phone does. Uh, as the title of my video itself suggests, the Nokia A0 PureView, much more than just a camera phone. So let's start off with the, uh, the first feature I'm going to show you is uh, free offline GPS navigation. That's uh, Nokia Maps, Pure Maps, which is present on almost all Nokia devices nowadays. Um, the present Lumia lineup, the Lumia range, and also the Asha smartphones, but it was also present on the older generation SIM devices. As we all know, this, the A08, is the latest and the greatest SIM device, and also the last one. Um, uh, sorry to say that I, I, I really like the SIM OS, but uh, nevertheless, let's move on. Uh, I'm gonna on the maps over here, and uh, here's 3D maps, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna just show you that my connection is offline as well as my Wi-Fi is off so it's totally offline totally free and it shows you uh, the per this uh, the places where you want to go and uh, it, it, sh it shows you the route it shows you the travel time it shows you it has a turn by turn was getting navigation so it's very useful uh, I'm just gonna leave it over here to track the position because it can take long sometimes uh, I'm going to move on to the next feature. The next feature that I'm going to show you is USB OTD, that's USB on the go function. Uh, now this function is quite useful if you see through business plans and business purposes or not as well. I, I, I have a cable over here, uh, although I didn't get it with the AGOA and I, I have a USB over here. So I'm just, just going to connect this cable over here to the port that I have on the AGOA. And that's done. And sorry about uh, the focus. My autofocus is not locking up. So, all right, that's done. And here's the USB. Oh, it's the other way around. No, it's yeah. That's done. Whoops. Um, bingo. Yes. Yeah, so here it is. It's reading. Uh, oh. I'm just going to zoom in a little bit. Yes, and as you can see, it's reading. This is my phone memory, the mass memory of the phone, 16 GB, and the no name, that's my memory card. And the last one, I mean, second last one, the no name, this is the USB that I'm reading. The phone is reading a USB. And here is a CPP file that's a document. Oh, this is my computer project. It sucks. <laughs> I don't, I don't want to watch it. Uh, let's, let's see this video. It's about the age rate itself. From the USB, oh, it's open up, yeah. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, as you can see, it's reading pretty well. There's not much problem, everything working pretty fine. So, yeah, through just a cable, you can read a USB in the phone. I'm sure not much of people know this, but that's why I'm making the video. And yeah, so let's move on to the next feature. I'm just going to remove this. And the next feature that I'm going to show you is HDMI, that's High Definition Multimedia Interface. It allows you to project whatever you're doing on the phone right onto the TV. So I have an HDMI cable already connect, uh, connected to my TV. And here's an HDMI port in my phone. I'm just going to open it up and just let's put it in. Yeah. And Oh, this is the DLNA Play app. Uh, I, I need to remove uh, the camera from the tripod. So, yeah, here's the DLNA Play app. I'm gonna close it and let's do the orientation change. Uh, oh, it's the DLNA Play app again. And that's my home screen. And as you can see, the same thing is on the TV. Sorry about the <laughs> autofocus again. Uh, it's coming back. Yes, it is. Yeah, that's much better. And so as you can see, uh, whatever is on my phone is right on my TV. I'm going to show you like this. Uh, 
whatever I do, you can see right on the TV. Well, that's my Lambo. <laughs> and yeah, everything working pretty well. You change the orientation, the orientation of the phone as well changes. And so yeah, that's 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 quite a good feature because whatever you're doing on the phone projects right on the TV. Uh, it can be done wirelessly, but you need to have a PlayStation or uh, an uh, DLNA uh, play supporter a device. That's a PS3 or something else. I'm just gonna return to the tripod. Uh, so yeah, that was about the HDMI function, and uh, yeah, so. Uh, let's check on the maps what's going on. Sorry about the lighting conditions. My light has totally gone off. And um, okay, it has not yet tracked my position. This is my old position, last position. And this is my home. But it's taking long to track. I don't know, maybe the GPS server may down or something. Uh, all right, let's move on to the next function. That is FM transmitter, and uh, I'm gonna yeah I hear. So yeah, here I have with me the FM, the radio. It's quite oh sorry, never mind. And uh, here's the radio, and here's the phone. Uh, the FM transmitter function allows you to project your the audio from your phone directly onto the radio set. Now here's a song I'm gonna stop playing, and. I think it is transmitting. No, it's no, it's oh, this. Yeah, I'm just gonna increase the volume, and I'm just gonna on this play via radio function. You have to set a free frequency. Uh, I've set 88.1 over here. Uh, if you can see, yeah. And I'm just gonna uh, on the radio set first. <laughs> And uh, it's transmitting now. Sorry about the uh, noise, the quite big volume, and yeah, that is it. My phone transmitting the audio directly to radio, and I control it. That's quite. That's not much useful, but it's just a function that's not present on all all, all phones nowadays. So yeah, that that's the easier purview, and it even has a great multitask capabilities. So yeah, um, the easier purview is much more than a camera phone, as you would have seen now. And there are even pretty much good apps present uh, on the phone, if. Um, if you see, go to the OV store. Of course, not uh, the amount of apps that iOS and the Google Play Store has, but it still uh, does the job. Uh, I know it's getting outdated, but uh, the loyal users will still be present. So yeah, that's that. There, those were some of the features I wanted to show. Oh, I forgot the maps. Let's come back to the maps. Uh, nope, it hasn't tracked yet. <laughs> I'm sure it will one day. It does. Uh, I'm getting trolled over here, but uh, nevertheless, it does track the position. Trust me, my connection is offline. If you do it online, it will connect in one moment. But I wanted to show offline, and it does track. And I don't know what's wrong now, but it shows you the position and it shows you everything. And it does it totally offline. So yeah, those were some of the functions of the HDRA. I'm sure many of you don't didn't know about this. So yeah, that's what my Ethernet is about, and it has a 1.3 gigahertz processor. You know, some good specs. It's not dual core, but it still can do pretty cool stuff. So yeah, that's that's all about my video. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you like the video. Uh, don't forget to like and um, comment uh, below, and ask any any types of questions you want. And yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching the video. Peace.